Hey my lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel then hello, welcome to my channel. So today I will be showing you how to make a aloe vera mask gel for your face. I normally use this um, to smoothen out my face or just you know to dehydrate my face and cleanse my face. So you can normally get an aloe vera gel if you have a garden from your house or you can literally get it from the store. Um, for like one would cost like 99p or like two pounds or something but yeah it depends on where you get them so let's get on with the video so starting off as you can see I have already washed my aloe vera so what you want to do is you want to take a small container and you want to grab a small knife don't get too big one otherwise you'll end up chopping your hands so what you want to do is you want to cut them in half so as you can see you don't want to cut them where it's already cut so you want to like slice it slowly slowly so then you open it in half and then you tear it up and then what you do next is that you want to make sure that you scratch off all the gels and all the products that's from the leaf and bring it onto your bowl so make sure by using a knife you're scraping off the gel because that's what's really important and that's what we really need. So moving on next, I'm going to take my mascara brush. This is um, a mascara brush. Personally, I like using my mascara brush because when applying aloe vera gel, I like to apply it around my eyebrows and also my eyelashes because it helps with the hair growth as well. And if you don't have any mascara brush, then what you can do, you can use a flat brush for the ones that you use foundation or you can use your finger or if you have an old mascara, then you can just wash the brush and use that. So yeah, I'm going to take my brush and what we're going to do next is I'll be mixing the aloe vera gel. So basically you want to give it a good mix for like 2-3 to three minutes till it becomes very slimy. And you'll see that when you're mixing it, the colour will change into a bit yellowy, goopy ones. So that's when you know that the gel is ready. So till it becomes all slimy then you will know that the gel is ready to apply into your face. So as you can see, I'm giving it a really, really good mix. Still becomes very really gulpy and slimy. So yeah, that's how it should be when you're going to make an aloe vera gel mask. Make sure that you don't eat it because it's not good. <laughs> Especially if you're going to apply it to your face. So make sure it's for your face. So what you want to do next is make sure that your hair is up or so taking all my hair back I want to make sure that I don't really get a, you, know, you want to make sure that you don't get a big chunk so make sure that it's the right portion so I'm slowly slowly applying it into my eyebrows because aloe vera gel is very good it helps you give a it's like a moisturizing um, gel and it's very good for your eyebrows for your face and your eyelashes so as you can see here, I'm going to apply my eyelashes as well because this helps to um, grow your hair, it's good, it's just really good, yeah. <laughs> I mean just make sure you do your research and if you're allergic to aloe vera then please don't use it, so yeah this is all natural. Then for my face I'm just taking a cotton ball and you want to make sure that you get a big chunk of that slime of aloe vera gel and you want to do it into a slow motion and apply it around all your face you can usually you can apply it around your eye areas because that will help to erase some dark circles if you have any and yeah you can just put up, apply it around your whole face So I just gave up the cotton ball because it was coming all soggy so I'm just going to use my hand and just you know just put it around my neck as well and if you have any leftovers of aloe vera then you can usually use that and then you know like just apply it all around your face because that way even the plant is giving you a smooth texture around your face. Did you know that aloe vera gel is very good for your teeth? It just 
erases those yellow stains if you have any and if you have any any more leaf left so what you want to do is that you want to use it as a brush and just smudge it around your teeth because it's just good so once you feel your face a bit tight you want to go and wash so here I am I've already washed my face so what you want to do is you want to pat your face very slowly and you don't want to like put all the towel into your face so you want to like tap it very slowly so that you know it refreshes your face and yeah So as you can see my teeth has kind of cleared away, there's no yellow stains left and yeah, make sure that you try this smile 3 times a week and trust me, you will see the results. And as you can see my face has brightened up, before I was looking a bit dull and now I look all refreshed and nice, simple. Every time I do face marks, I love applying the Nivea Moisturizing Cream. So this is my Nivea Pure and Natural Moisturizing Day Cream. I love using it because it helps to moisturize my face. It smooths my face. My face, my face was, um, I feel like it just helps a lot with my face because I end up having a lot of pores. And in that way, it kind of shrinks my pores because I normally use it for everyday routine and also it smooths out my skin and my skin always feels fresh and soft every day so if you have any different types of moisturizing cream then do surely use it because all you want to do is refresh your face after using a mask so yeah so after moisturizing my face I love to prime my face with a primer water unfortunately my urban decay has finished and I have to order some new ones I'm currently um, obsessed with the Primark one because it's similar to urban decay so it's got a similar scent and I just love it and it's long-lasting I don't know if you guys have seen my previous video where I tried the all, all Primark makeup I love using the primer water I think it's good for money I think it does what it says it's a good priming water and yeah I'm currently in love with that so every time I do a face mask I love to moisturize my face like I said before and I love priming my face using the prime water so here, so here we are guys um, yeah so once it's kind of dried I like to use my hand and just like smudge it all over so that even you know, the moisturizing cream and the prime water blends together and it just helps my face to keep dehydrated and refreshed and yeah guys so if you have enjoyed this DIY with me then don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below make sure that you're liking my videos and you're following me on Instagram so that me and you can have a chit chat and also make sure that you like my Facebook page because I just made one to you all so yeah guys make sure that you try this marks three times a week and trust me you will see their results what I'm saying and yeah for now I love you all and see you next time with another DIY Love you all. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, guys. Love you. Bye.